Welcome to all inspiring chefs, cooks, and everything in between alike. This is Griever, your guys' host as always. This is my new bar, the place I'm currently at. And this, this is exactly what Shokugeki no Soma is all about. Chapter 279 entitled Light the Bacon. I mean the bacon. No, I mean the bacon. How did they not make the title Light the Bacon? Like, come on. Either way, you guys, chapter 279. Let's get cooking because this, this is what Shoku Geki no Soma is all about. I am so hyped, so hyped. This will be a short review, guys, because really the chapter itself had not that much. Not that much to really go off of, like, story-wise and in-depth on, on food or anything like that. However, the feel of the chapter. We left off on a very big downer note. Well, not a downer note. Uh... Up in the air note, a eh? what's going to happen? Rescue arc. It's time for a rescue arc. They're going to realize the rain has been captured. And who did it? We're going to have epic, 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 epic. Wonderful. I am so hyped for that. That's great. But once again, that is not what Shoku Geki no Soma is. But this, this chapter is exactly what Shoku Geki no Soma is. As Charles' anime world sense, it's the greatness. And it is. This is the greatness. This is this is the type of chapter I've been waiting for. It's simple. We get Nikumi, uh, she's out there, you know, taking a break in a bathing suit and stuff. And of course, we're liking the beach idea. And once again, a lot of people are saying, I got a couple of messages on YouTube saying, are uh, like, why are you hating on the beach thing? Like, don't you like this series for showing skin sort of idea? Like it's Ichi, it's, uh, uh, that's what it's supposed to be. No, I'm not hating on the beach thing for that. I was, I was once again, not trying to defend myself totally on the way I've been presenting these reviews, but it was more about the focus on the slice of life romance and not so much on the shonen food side of things that are the aspects that I love about Shokugeki no Sama. Character development, the food, and the tone. And those things were moving into a slice of life romance sort of idea, rather than what I believe Shokugeki no Soma is at the core. And this is the center of that apple core, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is, because we just get her, she's taking her break and stuff, and we see all the Elite Ten members fighting. They're like, oh, it's, you know, near the end of day two, how are you guys making out and stuff? And it's, it's just a wildfire. This is nuts. You didn't charge a cordless battery. You, oh, you plugged in this. We only have so many outlets. We need a generator. Well, there's only so much power the generator can give. Well, I'm doing this. Did you order the cutlery? Well, it's not on the invoice. What the hell? It is so diabolical, just nuthouse chaos. As Nikumi says, she goes, I think I felt a couple of bullets like fly past me just now. And I dodged them like, this is nuts. This is hellfire going on in here. And it is. This, of course, because once again, just because you put together, like a lot of people say in sports. Now, once again, I know guys, I know a lot of my viewers are not sports fans, but I'll, I'll simplify it just in case you aren't. If you took the greatest 20 hockey players, that, or 20 anything, if you took the greatest 20 on any sport, any major league sport, and put them all on the team, that team probably would not do as great as you think. You know why? Because great teams aren't focused around having all the best players. It could work, but generally speaking, you need support. If everybody is the top hitter, if everybody is the top scorer, if everybody is the forward front man, who's left in the back? Because the game is not based, football is not based on the quarterback. You can have the greatest quarterback to ever live, in my opinion, Troy Aikman, if you have the greatest quarterback ever, but you have crappy wide receivers, it's not going to matter. If you play, if you have an all-star team in hockey, but you have uh, the worst goalie, people are going to get scored on. Like, it just, you need a functioning team, a team that has strengths and weaknesses, but you work together as a unit. It's called chemistry. In this situation with the Elite 10, we have a bunch of individual strong buy rights on their own. They could all run their own shop. But now they all have to work together. All these strong personalities who fight, who bicker, who fight. 
That is what it is. And it's cool to see because it's such a real world application. You get a bunch of strong, I mean, I'm in construction, I'm an electrician, and you see a lot of this type of stuff. You see a lot of strong personalities going in, well, I'm a general, well, I'm the boss, I'm the boss. Here you see it all the time because you have to build anything, to make anything work. Sometimes you don't just need an electrician. You need a carpenter, you need a plumber, you need an HVAC guy, you need controls, you need, you need, you need, you need, you need. You have so many different people who all work for different bosses. So then, well, I don't need to listen to you. Well, I don't need to listen to you. You have all these people like, well, we're doing this. That's what our boss told us. Well, our boss told us it doesn't matter what you guys do. This stuff happens all the time when you have strong personalities who go, our shit doesn't stink. That's the type of thing going on here. But it's cool to see because it's a real world application. It's fun to see them bickering and stuff because of course they would. Megami is just trying to help. Well, Hayama and Ryo are just, they're being themselves. They're being them. Their personalities are strong. They're individually strong personalities. It's great. It's great to see this. And Soma being Soma. Once again, Soma just being Soma. Soma's standing there. Half the time he's got no pupils through this whole chapter. Just like, oh, hey, yeah. No, this is a disaster. Oh, yeah. The shop sucks. <laughs> like right now, everything's going... It's going great. It's going great. Actually, no, it's going pretty terribly. This is this is going to be crap. So it's just it's wonderful to see. It's great to see all the characters having fun. This is fluff, but it's lighthearted, but it's also character conscious, and I like that because we also see. And here's where it all rolls back because we see that a lot of the beach side they are the furthest away and all that stuff, and one of the uh, closer shops set up said like you know the elite 10 are gonna fall i can't wait because i've been challenging well they say that he's been challenging soma for his first seed all the time but he never wins of course he doesn't win this is a no no one character he'll be gone after the next chapter but he's another student at toski and what the thing is is that of course they're all fine they want the elite 10 to fail because if they fail this and they all get expelled seats are vacant for other people and that's what it means Soma takes this up as a challenge. He goes, you know, the Elite Ten, they probably all had to do this, the ones before us. Every single person that was a second year of the Elite Ten last time, they all had to do this. You know, all the people that they looked up to, they aspired to take their seats in the Regiment de Cuisine. So he's like, if we can't overcome this hurdle, you know, they had to, and they probably had to deal with similar ideas, or worse, when they became third years. Exams are part of this. The elite ten have to be given challenges, because that is what makes them great. That is the metal of an elite ten chef, as someone so clearly puts it. It's just like, everyone's like, yeah, that's exactly what it means to be one of us. You're one of us, you got to hold yourself to a higher regard. You have to be better than them while handicapped, just like what happened in the great arc that was the Regiment de Cuisine, and they kept getting, okay, we're gonna give you, here, make pasta, but you don't have, like, make a pasta dish, no pasta. Here, make a fish dish, but you don't have any fresh fish to work with. Challenges like that are what separates the Elite 10 from the regular good chefs, or the regular great chefs, but they're not Elite 10. You need to showcase the greatness that is being an Elite 10 member, and the metal of it. So just, I know I'm rambling about this, guys, but I'm just so happy to see this chapter be about food and be about the school and just be about them passing their exam. Because we're getting so much hype about all the dark chefs and stuff, and I thought they would take it one direction that I think would have been really great and I would have been on board with, but they didn't take it that way. So right now, this is like the second best choice. Go back to your roots. Make it about the exam. Make it about making great food. The challenges. This reminds me of, which volume was it? Uh, I have it here somewhere. Uh, yeah, right here. This reminds me of when this, uh, uh, the lights, are not really gonna let me show it. Uh, when, this, when this volume went down. There we go. When this volume went down, uh, volume 15, it was uh, Soma versus Kuga in the Chinese go at it sort of idea. He had, you know, so many days to make it work and sort of thing. It was, 
it was really good. It was a really good way to make this. Like, I was interested in that art. I was interested. I mean, I've been interested in Shokuge, you know, some of this whole time. But I just feel that this, this is what it was really all about. These type of situations, that, but they involve food. They involve figuring things out from a business perspective as well as a food one. It was just really nice to see. And I'm happy to have this sort of thing back in Shokuge no Soma. In regards to Arena, we'll probably get to that next chapter. But either way, it's great. And here on the third day, we see that they've completed the shop. It doesn't look like much, but they have a triangle kitchen thing going on set up, and they're just ready to go. And here's where I believe, like a lot of people in the forum said, that they're going to clean up, and all the customers, because they have the, the pop, you know, thing on their side, that, that little bit of like, ooh, the new thing, we've already tried all these guys on the, you know, cooking, but here's this new shop, let's try it out. It'll, that, that whole pop thing will really work for an advertiser perspective, will really work to their advantage, and they'll make up all that money, while the other people will struggle to bring customers in when the Elite 10 shop is finally opened up, people will run to them. So, that's the end of the chapter. Once again, guys, I'm, I'm I gotta apologize for rambling all about basically fluff in this chapter, but it just felt so shokugeki to me. It really did. Like they're building a kitchen, they're building up a resort, they're building this, they're building that. Like the portion, this this focus on just the exam portion without all the Suzuki and Saiba and you know the dark chefs and all this stuff, which. Once again, I think could have been taken a really cool direction. I don't like where it's headed. I might change my mind when I know more about it. But right now, I'm liking that they just took a break from that for just one chapter to give us what Shokugeki no Soma is all about. It's all about food, food prep, and preparing under unbelievable circumstances. These guys being confident enough to work together, band together, and make great food together to appease their customers. Because at the end of the day, Food and customers are like this. That's what they're all about. It's about bringing people in, about being restaurant uh, entrepreneurs and things like that. That is what it is at its core, to be able to handle that type of pressure in any situation. It's just great that they introduced that part of it in this chapter, and just solely. Like, they didn't do it for half the chapter, then jump away to the random situation. No, they stuck to it. Really enjoyed it, guys. What did you think? I know I rambled way too much through this review and I said it would be short. Sorry about that. Either way, guys, what did you think of the chapter? What did you think of the review? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Please like, subscribe, comment as always. This has been Griever with your Behind the Bar Reviews for Shoku Geki no Soma. Either way, guys, drink responsibly, keep cooking. We'll see you next time.